Time now for Don Spotlight. I've played baseball since I was four years old, or as long as I can remember. Pitching really started to come into my life uh, my sophomore year in high school. Um, that's really where I think I started to excel at that position. I think it's one of the most competitive positions on the field just because you're facing every hitter and it's you control the game. What Thomas has been able to do for the pitching staff is really kind of help create a culture uh, of consistency. He's really learned how to, how to get himself in shape and how to get himself ready mentally and physically to handle the grind of pitching every weekend. I mean we play a 60 or 56 game season and I think it's one of the most important things is to take care of your, your body, especially take care of your arm. As a starting pitcher, your whole week leads up to one day. So you have to be on your own. You're on your own schedule, you lift on your own, and that's a hard thing, especially for athletes who feed on each other and in their, in, in their environment. He doesn't get to work out with the whole team sometimes. He has to go on his own and do it. And that's just a self-motivation that, that he's so good at and just getting in there, doing what he needs to do. Coach b -Lux. he's done a lot for me and my body and we've kind of built a routine um, that has helped me excel in the weight room um, and in my strength and conditioning. I got a soft spot for Thomas because I think we've grown together. I mean, we came in, uh, it was my first year as his pitching coach. It was his first year in college. The, the best part about him, like I said, is, is just the way he works. So when I would bring something new to him, he wasn't afraid to try it. Um, he wasn't afraid to give me feedback on what was working for him or what wasn't working for him. I think it's pretty special for Matt and Pawnee to, to be together and be able to develop over the last three years. And Matt have a guy that he could trust and a guy that he believes in and a guy that that it listens to his message. My job now is just to guide him, just, just to help him because he really, he really runs his career. He runs uh, his day-to-day -day work and, and he does a great job of it. Folks, if you like good pitching, then we've got a treat for you today. The Dons will send out their junior ace from Newberry Park, California, Thomas Ponticelli. Friday is a tough day to pitch, I mean, on so many different levels. I mean, the thing that a lot of people don't talk about is Thomas has never seen those guys play. Our Saturday starter gets to watch them for nine innings. Our Sunday gets starter gets to watch them for 18 innings. Thomas almost goes in blind. I mean, of course, we have our scouting reports and everything, but we really have to count on him pitching at his best. There's the one, two. There it is, swing and a miss. I mean, Shelly really pulled the string on that one, and Tarantino was fooled. You know going into it that he's going to give you those first seven innings and give your team an opportunity to win. Ponticelli has now set down nine consecutive batters. I like to go out there and set the tone and it'll hopefully just trickle down to the other guys and they can learn from it and use their tools to beat them the next day. And it's an awesome feeling to get your team off the field as quick as possible and give them like, an opportunity to swing the bat. There's a fastball swing and a missed strike three so he goes off speed and then he comes in with the heater and it's a one, two, three inning. talk to the scouts and, and the people in professional baseball is there might be guys a little bit flashier than him or might have better stuff but he's gonna out pitch a lot of people because he understands the game and how to go about the game and not just the tools that it takes to be successful. Uh, we'll be proud to put him in that list of pitchers that have gone on to professional baseball to be hugely successful but I think even outside of baseball Pawnee's gonna be successful in life when baseball's done, he's going to be able to do some really good things with his skill set. You know, playing professional baseball is, uh, it's always been something that I've wanted to do. And I think I've used every day possible to help me get towards that, that dream of mine.